Hello again, you extraordinary subscribers. I will save you the spiel this week because I'm losing my voice and simply say welcome back to our final debut of new properties for 2021. Uh, all the properties, all 80, 80 of them going live on the website for tomorrow, Tuesday, November the 30th. Um, before I get started on that, I'm going to just kind of skip through the thank yous this week because I want to talk about something and I got to show you the properties to talk about it. So uh, thank yous for this week. Kai and Cameron bought some land from us out there in Carson Estates, that new property we listed last week. If either of you guys are watching, please get in touch with me, support at HemingwayLand.com. We've been trying to reach you since you bought that from us. Number one, number two, Samantha bought some land from us in Pahrump. Thank you to her. Brittany bought some land from us in Valencia County. Rennell put down a deposit on one of our Hawaii properties. We've had a lot of um, false alarms with those Hawaii properties this year. But uh, Rennell sounds serious. She sounds hardcore. So hopefully we'll have that closed before the end of the year. And finally, Marty and Julie, returning customers, Marty and Julie, uh, they've bought like three properties from us this year, uh, bought a new property out there in Socorro County from this past week. So thank you to them. And really thank you to everybody who bought land from us here in 2021. Anyway, with all that said, guys, going live on the website this week, and this is what I want to talk about. We've got three properties going live in Yavapai County in a subdivision we have not been to before, obviously, because it's Arizona. Bridge Canyon Country Estates. This is a pretty nice region out here uh, just west of Seligman where the Route 66 and the I-40 sort of diverge. This whole carved out area right here is this subdivision. We've got three lots going live this week, uh, all with easy financing. And as you can see from the headlines, we call these RV friendly. This uh, this area out here in Yavapai County, you can actually get a... The, per the zoning, it's 10 days of RVing or camping, which is like 10 days. Who cares, right? But you can actually get a permit to be out there for 12 months in an RV or a travel trailer, and that's without a building permit. So you could just get a permit to be out there for 12 months, which I have never before encountered. So RV-friendly land uh, within an hour of... Uh, obviously, the Grand Canyon, an hour of Flagstaff, within an hour of Prescott, so on and so forth. But obviously, there's a lot of great things to do out here in this region. I've covered it in previous videos. All the green tells you about all the great hunting areas out here, all the great national parks to see and explore, so on and so forth. Throw a rock, you're going to hit some kind of great you know, national park or monument that you could take a look at out here in northern Arizona. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so here's what I want to talk about. So <clears throat> as I think you guys know, we got one photographer. He shoots all of our New Mexico properties. He's been shooting all of our Colorado properties until recently. He's getting burnt out driving around three different states. So as I plan to buy a lot of property in Arizona in the new year, uh, we started looking for a, a new photographer in Arizona, somebody to cover Arizona. And uh, I am significantly displeased with the uh, quality of the photos that we got back for these Yavapai properties. So it kind of it really burns me that the properties that we're debuting at the end of the year, the close of the year, have photos that look like this. And watch this cloud, guys. Hang on. One, two. Oh, look, it's the exact same cloud. Fantastic. I would rather pay a photographer to sit in a hotel for a week waiting for the best light, best skies, best weather conditions than have somebody do sky replacements. I And I've done this with the New Mexico guy. I absolutely hate... As a photography purist, I absolutely hate sky replacements, but particularly when they look this garbagey. And by the way, here's a street sign that's transparent because the photoshopping is so bad. Don't get me started. Anyway, point being, guys, my apologies in advance. Mia culpa, mia culpa. These are not the best photos, certainly not representative of what we normally have on Hemingway land, either as far as quality or as far as what it demonstrates about the property. It demonstrates very little about the property. So I try to kind of cover that in this week's video. I kind of try and walk you through it a little bit better. Whatever the case, these are in a good region. A lot of great attractions out here. Not a lot of utilities in this region. Very, very few, actually. You're going to have to rely on solar if you do decide to build out here. But there are a number of people who utilize this area for sort of seasonal retreats, hunting cabins, things like that. So maybe something you want to check out. And as I indicated earlier, there will be easy financing options on all three of these properties. Uh, they, you know, they differ as far as acreage and price points. So obviously the down payments differ, but they start as low as $2,000 and, uh, 180 days, same as cash on all of these. With all that said, other new properties going live on the website this week are in Valencia County. Yes, people, part two of our bulk acquisition, the final 77 properties in Valencia County are going up. Of course, you can learn more on our master page, which I'm sure no one has ever read or will ever read. It's very detailed. I believe I 
maybe did a little too much detail on this page. I feel like it's retarding the progress of the sales because I think people are getting a little too tripped up on how much detail there is here. Whatever the case, we have 77 new properties going live. The spreadsheet is being updated uh, or has been updated, I should say, uh, to reflect all of these. There's actually some really good lots out here, particularly in, um, and when I say actually, what I mean is it's not just all sort of, you know, desert squares in the middle of nowhere. Uh, quite a few in what we're calling zone one that have power at the lot line, very close by, close to development, well-maintained roads, access right off the highway, so paved access, so on and so forth, uh, underground utilities close by, things like that. So there's uh, a surprisingly uh, good number of properties in this region. I will also add that the first sort of um, tranche of this uh, bulk acquisition that we did, we didn't have really any financing offered. All of these properties that we're adding today all have easy financing, uh, down payments as low as $300. We've got half acre lots for $600 cash. We've got one acre lots. Most all the one acre lots are being priced at $1,200, $1.5 for um, 1800 for the most part, uh, two acres for 2400 so on and so forth. And we're offering terms, 90 days same as cash on all of these under, I want to say, what is it, two acres, two and a half acres, basically under $3,000. So anything priced under $3,000 is going to have financing offered on it. Of course, you can learn more about that here in our N column. For the record, guys, if you do try to navigate the Valencia listings over here, pretty much all of these have the same headline. Um, we've updated a few of these that actually do have power at the property or close to the property. So if you kind of go through those, you'll be able to find the ones that are, quote, the most enviable, at least for those purposes, if your purpose is to find, you know, property in the middle of nowhere, be out by the mountains, be left alone, just go for the regular headline ones or just anything in zones two, three, and four. I hope that's not confusing. People, if I weren't losing my voice, I would go into way more detail on this. Whatever the case, uh, before I wrap up for the uh, for the final here of 2021, again, I do want to thank all you guys tuning in every week, uh, all the regulars, uh, Cringe Panda and Karina and uh, Gray Skies, Gray Clouds. Uh, thank you to you guys. Thank you to everybody who's been buying from us, etc. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I had a very good Thanksgiving and uh, looking forward to my December off. I wish you guys the best of holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, Happy New Year, so on and so forth. And uh, I will see you guys in 2022. Big plans for 2022. Uh, I'll get into that more in January, but uh, new properties, we're uh, backed up right now with properties coming out of escrow being photographed. We've actually got like the first two months of the year uh, figured out right now. So I hope to actually get started working on those listing pages over December so I won't have to do them on a weekly basis. That'd be nice. Anyway, new properties coming in Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Colorado, and uh, probably some other places in 2022. Anyway, with all that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my uh, my broken voice here. And uh, Happy New Year, guys. I'll see you in January.